Hey guys, Kev here. I have unboxings to do for you. So first, let's crack into this one. This one's gonna be a new Jaeger. So I actually have two more Jaegers coming. Unbox it with the Grant Gripper, the Brass Brigade Gripper. Guys, this thing, wow. I enjoyed the prototype and I thought I would like this. Um, but I don't just like it, guys. I fucking love this thing. It's it's badass. So only fair that it unbox the... Oh, my God. That it unbox the Jaeger. Now, I actually have my... Uh, let me close this up. Love it. Have my Tiffany Jaeger right here. Sorry, Brittany. So this guy has uh, Brittany... Camo carbon scales, satin blade. I put a Moku type backspacer on it. And uh, this is fresh from Brian Brown. Um, I actually sent him mine because it had some barking in the carbon fiber. Um, and I guess when he got it, he accidentally dropped it or something. So he had to give me a new frame, which is cool with me because uh, the inlay is a little bit better. So it does still have some of those white marks. I think that's just how this stuff is. Um, but really dig it. Sexy as hell. And uh, so I'm kind of collecting Jaegers, sort of. Um, I have this one. I have this one. And then I have another one coming from Fanatic Edge, actually. Um, their uh, golf putter version. So we'll see how many I keep and what happens. But anyway... This is from a dude uh, I chatted with on Facebook. Shout out to Tom. And uh, yeah, this is actually a fancy version. Black Micarta, Damas Steel. Um, number 37, I guess. It's got Zerk accents. And he said the detent was good. We'll see. Most of the ones I've handled that are uh, have lighter detents, honestly. So... We'll see. Uh, it's really, really wrapped up. And uh, I actually traded him my copper one. So you guys may have seen the one with copper camo carbon. This is the flipper. I just didn't love the copper. Um, I love the knife. That specific one was really dialed in. Um, but I just, I don't know, didn't love the um, copper. And as much as I love the detent action on that one, you know, it's got to look good, too. And there's so many options these days with the Jaegers. Dude, he really packaged Unless it's how Brian packaged them. Uh, so these were like $585 new. Um, Damas Steel, Tumbled Tie Frame, Black Micarta, Zerk Accents. Um, you know, it's the fancy schmancy one from, I think, EDC Foundry. Yep. So check them out. Uh, I don't do a lot of stuff with EDC Foundry. I just don't know them over there. So I just want to get this back in. I don't know why why it's being... All right, there we go. So here it is. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. So, yeah, different looking frame. You can see it's not just a bead blasted frame. It's more of a tumbled frame. They kind of stonewashed it. I don't know if I love that. Um, got that Zerk backspacer, Zerk clip. Oh, my God. Zerk pivot collar. So I was thinking, you know, I could always cannibalize these. Like, So I could take the damn steel off of here, put it onto this Brittany frame with the Zerk hardware. Uh, yeah, that might look really good. Imagine, just imagine, right? Uh, I'm guessing it's black PVD hardware. Let's just give it a flip, see how light that D10 is. Yeah, it's pretty, oh yeah. Damn, pretty good. Maybe a little bit of play, so, you know, it might be a little tighter than that. No detent lash. It is the flipper version, which I don't mind at all. Man, why does this feel more comfortable than I remember? A hollow grind. Man, that feels crazy. 
You got that Dama Steel. I gotta say, I don't necessarily love the Dama Steel. I don't know. I thought I'd dig it a lot more. I didn't realize it was acid etched or washed or whatever. Um, man, the action on this one is pretty damn good. This one's tighter. So when I got it back from Brian, he definitely tightened it up a little bit, which is good. That's how I like my my detents is stiffer, you know, deployment. But this one's close. Um, but then on the close, you can see, ah, oh, it's just very smooth. Uh, that lock bar just slides out of the way where on this one, it's a little bit heavier. Um, you know, which is the trade-off for the detent. So you gotta, you know, you gotta play that game. No flipper tab on this one. So yeah, I really like both. That's, this is the problem I was expecting to not have. Um, hmm. And uh, Tom, the guy I got this off of, did say he really likes the um, he really likes the frame on this one. So he likes the black micarta, and he wouldn't mind if I swapped hardware and blade from it, and then you know just gave him the um, just gave him the the scales basically. You know, um, I'd have to do a lot of work, you know, swapping everything out. I think it would look pretty sick though with all that zerk on here um honestly i don't e i don't know if i really even want this blade <laughs> as weird as that is i like it but anyway so i traded my copper one plus um like 200 and something bucks and i got this guy which i really like this one I like the black Mercada, honestly. That's the thing, I like them all. Like, I just, you know, I want all the Jaegers. It's got a little bit of something. Maybe it's jank. Let's try the, uh, this video is not even about the Jaeger, so just, hold on, let me just check. Oh, yeah, that was loose. Yep, feels way better now. Just need a little tighten. So we'll probably see what the centering looks like. Yeah, that's how they all are. They all shoot a little bit over to this side. There's probably a middle ground there. I'd have to Loctite it. Number 37. Huh. I just Loctited this one too. So if I'm gonna do something, I might as well take them apart and do it and then let everything Loctite. I just hate messing with stuff that already looks really good. This already looks really good. Do I love the black micarta? Mm, not as much as I love the Britney. But I don't have to just keep one, right? You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I could swap the clips and just see how that looks. Obviously, I have this backspacer in here. I could either leave that or I could swap to all Zerk, you know, all black and zerk on this guy which i think would look fire dude i think i think the zerk on that britney because it's got the black tones in it right um i have a um zerkutai clip on order from a purvis and it uh is gonna be just black and gray no coloring um which i thought would be sick with the with this jaeger or this jaeger whichever jaeger because I have a Mokutai clip still from the kit. Uh, I think I don't want the Dama Steel Blade on this. I don't know. I, I just don't. I like it. Don't love it. And I'm sure I could probably get. Probably get some money for the. Dama Steel Blade. But I do like the flipper, but I also really like the non-flipper. Man, it's just like, the Jaegers are just so good, man. Look at that. It's crazy, that little area right there. Those little areas. So I'm going to have to think about it. Anyway, that's my new Jaeger. Um, I might as well wait until I get all three in. The other one's coming tomorrow, I think. And then I can kind of figure out what I want to do. 
Um, so anyway, the next one is from um, something obscene company. And I picked up a mini J cape. Now this is one I'm not sure about. I just got it because I was like, you know, everybody's telling me it's so good. And I just am worried about the size, you know, the J cape, you know, I don't have a huge hand. I have a large glove size hand. Um, the J cape like just perfectly fit my hand. So I don't really know how a mini J cape could be good, but people keep telling me how good it is. Oh my God. Look at that pouch or patch. Dude. Check it. Look at that. Look at that fidget pouch, baby. And then... Maybe I could put it, I don't know, whatever. I'll figure it out. Looking good, dude. Love his logo. I'll throw that away. Comes in this. Man, the packaging's sick. Oh, order. I got the mini J cape. And guys, I just, I have to do flipper. So like, I have to do flipper. I don't know what it is about me. I just like the J cape in a flipper. I do. Uh, wow, it is small. So satin and black, 20 CB flipper. Yeah, the thumb studs would have been too small, I think. Um, it looks goofy, sort of. All right, let's see. Nice box. Here it is. It feels like thick and, I don't know. Very interesting. Just doesn't look like a J cape. I don't know why this looks different in this area. Um, used to the flipper one. I don't know. <laughs> Little baby knife. Okay. Still actually works pretty well. Now, ah, he did shrink the choil. Damn. So you lose the choil. I used, I loved that about the J cape is you could kind of use the choil. So you're stuck in this grip. Yeah, hmm. thin, hollow grinds, nice. Uh, it has the, um, I was hoping it would have the new clip, you know. Uh, this clip sucks. I hate those with a passion. Oh, God. Detent's pretty. Well, I mean, the detent's good for sure. Makes the lock bar stiff, though. No jimping? I don't remember that on the JK either. Action's good. Huh. I don't understand why... I mean, Felix is a cool dude, all that good stuff. I don't quite understand why these are $400. You know? 20 CV and titanium. Um, like, even this isn't even 400 in the camo carbon, Brittany and everything. M390, 20 CV, Riot, titanium, all that stuff. Uh, these are like 375 or something. So, it's a little odd. Action's okay, it's probably on five millimeters. It feels a little chunky. I don't even remember the JK feeling that thick. And as suspected, it's small. Duh. It's called the mini J-Cape. Uh, but yeah, the full-size J-Cape just literally melted in my hand. The ergos were so good. And this is obviously not going to do that because it's, the, you know, the size. But your thumb lands here pretty good. That hollow grind feels fantastic. Um, you know, his aesthetic, his marketing, his all that stuff is on point. Like, what is the deal, though, with the no jimping? I remember the J-Cape having jimping. It kind of reminds me of the Sangre because it doesn't have the jimping on the flipper tab. It's like just a little bit of an odd choice when jimping is necessary on flipper tabs, 
you know. Um, it's a little bit gritty. There's no play or anything. I don't know if you can hear that. It's very gritty, honestly. Um, good milling in there. Let me grab some. Let me put this away. This thing broke in real nice with some skiffs. So this is a KPL microfiber Q-tip and KPL heavy. Shout out to Knife Pivot Lube. You can use my code LEFTY10 over there for 10% off your order. Um, they have all types of good stuff. Rust prevention, uh, lubricants, all types of stuff. And what I recommend is you take a Q-tip like this and you put a little bit of heavy on it, KPL heavy, and you put that onto the detent ball specifically. Just try to hit that area, that's all you wanna do. And then you wanna open and close the knife a few times, holding down right here, just mild pressure on the uh, detent ball, the insert, that'll put a little bit of pressure on the detent ball, and you're helping to wear that path in a little quicker. And yep, it's just like the uh, Jaeger where it almost immediately wears in, and that scratchiness is now gone. I don't feel it at all, that's incredible. And let's see how she drops now. Yeah, it's good. The acoustics on this thing are really good. It's close to having the J Cape Ting. It's just not quite big enough for that, I don't think. Um, pretty goddamn cool, though. Listen to that. <laughs> That's the JK, then you can hear the Jaeger. No ting there. Eh. Then you got the gripper. They all have these very unique sounds that I very much enjoy. Look at that. Um, keep going here, we got the Maverick. Evo. One more to round it out. Which one do you want to go with the Sangre? How about that for tactical fucking Tuesday, even though it's Thursday? There you go. Look at that. That's some badassery right there on the table. Um, yeah. Cool shit. So, anyway, that's the Mini J Cape and the Dama Jaeger. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm not quite sold on this. I'd, I mean, I knew, I knew it wasn't probably for me, but I did it anyway. It's just, a it's just what I do, you know? And there's nothing wrong with this knife, guys. I want to make that impression clear. It's me, right? Like, my hand doesn't necessarily fit this knife perfectly. Um, I probably should have got the thumb stud, but I don't like little knives with studs. It just bugs me, like... This is as small as I want to go with a knife with studs. Is like three inches, right? Because I can still get under there and flick it. But any smaller than that, where am I? You know, my thumb's right here. I got to do this then and kind of climb down here. The reverse flick, meh, it's just not going to work great. So I, you know, I prefer a flipper on a small knife like this. Um, but then you have the problem of the flippers in the way, right? Like it's not, I can't. I can't disengage this knife without getting hit with the flipper tab. Um, so, you know, you don't get this kind of drop stuff going on. On this, you can see how low profile that flipper is, so it just swings right by. Same thing on this. Flipper tab is basically hidden, you know. Uh, Sangre is another one where it hits you, right? You got to just hope you get past it, and then you can shake down. And the Evo doesn't have a flipper tab, and it's just a freaking guillotine. So, I like it. I do. I like it. So, we'll see. Uh, I'll do the full review, of course. Um, I think some of this stuff is going to be for sale. Not this. Get out of here. Um, this either. Sorry. I got to clear the table. This is not for sale either. <laughs> this, this is not for sale. 
Uh, okay, so th these two may be for sale at some point. Um, so if you're super interested in one or the other, you know, you might as well drop me a line. Don't expect me to just sell it to you, but drop me a line. Let me know you're interested, and maybe by the time this posts, I'll be selling them. And they could be gone already, so... Um, I do like both, though. I really like the Sangre. But I gotta move stuff to keep keep channel alive. So, anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I think I'd prefer to just have the full-size version of this guy. Um, just have the JK 3.5 again. And uh, maybe keep it in the collection this time. So, maybe I gotta find somebody who will trade me this one for the big dog in the same configuration but i gotta say the detent on this is dialed um on my j capes i had you know a couple that were too light i had one that was too stiff and i had one that was like perfect so you know it is it's how it goes with um flipper knives in particular detents have to be like perfect you know so i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day truly um, I love y'all, and I will catch you later.